something And I never fit the shoe until I do or something Yo, bracing myself like teeth Boy, it's the same old route On some new concrete But homie, these tones make you get a new ID I'm trying to Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode on Bigger Profits Today, I'm answering a question that I get all the time When people get started in wholesaling Is what do I do? What are the first steps? And I totally understand why people ask that Because there are a lot of different steps When it comes to wholesaling your first property I mean, do I, you know, build a buyer's list? You know, what title company do I reach out to? You know, what type of title company? Where do I get contracts? What type of contracts should I have? What market should I wholesale? Or what market should I do creative? What, you know, there's all these different questions and it can be overwhelming, but hopefully this video can really steer you in the right direction. So these are three things I think are super important when you are getting started wholesaling that I think will launch you and really help you with building your business. So number one, join a local Facebook group. Guys, it's so, I think that's so overlooked. I'll talk to people about whatever deal they're working on or they're trying to figure out wholesaling and get their first deal. And I'm like, are you in a Facebook group? And they're like, no, not really. You want to join a local Facebook group for three reasons. Number one, because there's other investors, a local investing Facebook group, there's going to be other investors that are in those groups. And that's great because now you can partner with someone. You can JV. It's your first deal. You're new to the business. Now you can connect with other investors and maybe even other wholesalers. And you can JV on certain deals because you've never done one before. So it can really teach you the ropes. The second reason is because there are buyers in those local Facebook groups, those local investor Facebook groups. Buyers are in these groups because they're looking for deals. They know that wholesalers are in this group. So if they join these groups that they know they're gonna find good deals without even having to market or do anything because wholesalers are gonna post those deals and they're gonna be able to look at these deals and be able to buy um, deals for themselves you know, without even having to do much work. So it's really, really awesome for you to be able to connect with buyers, not even locally, but even from other states. Like I'm in South Carolina and uh, the local investment Facebook group that I'm in, there's people from Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona that are in this Facebook group. I mean, it's crazy, like from all over. So you're gonna be able to connect with a lot of other investors. You're gonna be able to collect, connect with other wholesalers. But then number three is you're gonna be able to emulate what type of post and how you should share your deals. Because you can see very easily what posts maybe you shouldn't do, they don't get a lot of engagement, it doesn't look as professional. But then you can look at other wholesalers and you can see like, man, this person, oh man, they're, they're probably doing a lot of transactions. So, you know, they have a lot of engagement, maybe people even know them, you know, like, oh, awesome, fine, awesome deal. Maybe even say their first name, you know, oh, Jason, you know, I, I messaged you the other day or whatever. You can kind of see like who's doing deals and you can see how they post. You know, it says like, you know, a, a contract for assignment or you know property under contract you know this is the ARV this is the purchase price you know here are some comps you know and then a little bit about the repairs and then you know if you want to see more photos a link like you can really just see okay wow this is a great post I'm gonna emulate that so really important for you to join a local Facebook investing group uh, because you can learn a lot just being in those groups number two go ahead and get a contract I mean, I find that you know people hesitate to close on a deal or you know talk to the seller because they're like, man, if, if the seller's ready to go, like I don't have a contract, where do I get a contract? Just get that taken care of. It's so there's so many places where you can find you know just a simple purchase and sale agreement or an assignment contract. Heck. I even have a link in the description below. If you don't have one, you can click on that link and you can get yourself a contract that I still use today. I've done a number of deals and I still use a very simple one and a half or one page um, assignment contract and purchase and sell agreement. So you want to have that because you don't want to wait until a seller is like, I'm ready to go. And now you're scrambling to try and get a contract or figure out you know, where you get a contract. And then even when you get it, you got to try and figure out and learn about the contract because obviously the seller might have questions. So you want to just kind of take care of that beforehand because that's really, that's all you need. Once the seller is ready to go, you just send that contract out for them to get signed. If they have a couple of questions, obviously make sure you're familiar with that. And then you're off to the races, man. I mean, if you have a good deal, the buyers will come. So go ahead and get that contract and have it ready um, for your first deal. The third thing is, <laughs> seems pretty simple, but you'd be surprised. Talk to more sellers. Like, don't be a, prof a professional student. Like, I love that you're watching this video even right now, but after you get off this video, go make some calls, right? Like, don't be the person who's gonna watch a million videos, who's gonna go to tons of conferences, who's gonna just keep studying and studying and studying and studying. The way to get your first deal is to talk to more people. It's really a numbers game, guys. There's a lot of people who have properties that they should sell or could sell, but maybe aren't ready to sell or maybe don't want to sell. But there are a number of people that do want to sell their properties. It's just how quickly can you get to them? It's just a numbers game. So the more people you talk to, the more likely you're going to get in front of those sellers that are wanting to sell their property. So you got to talk to more sellers. Now, if you're wondering, okay, well, yeah, it's great, Miles, but how do I talk to sellers? Well, there's two things to think about. You have to look at whether you have the money to get started in this business or you have time to get started in this business. If you have money right now, maybe you're working a job, maybe you have some money saved up, then you can buy some of these systems that'll help 
get your first deal faster, whether it's getting deal machine for driving for dollars, whether it's prop stream, whether it's batch leads to do SMS, like text message marketing, you know, uh, you know, doing mailing, uh, whatever it is you have some money put aside that you can put towards. Set a budget for yourself. Say, okay, for three months, I'm willing to spend X amount of money. Like, make it very simple, that's what I did. I was willing to spend $1,000 in the next three months to land my first deal. I, I didn't have it like, I'm gonna get started and then I'm kind of feeling a little antsy because I don't have a deal in a two to three weeks. You know, you wanna set a goal. Don't do two to three weeks because it may take you two months. It may take you, take you three months. But set aside so you know what it is that you're sacrificing for those three months. I knew if I could spend three months to try and get a deal, I'm sure I can get a deal within three months. I mean, that's 90 days, three months. For me to be able to talk to so many sellers because this is all i'm going to do is just talk to sellers and i can't get a deal in three months so that's how i looked at it and i was willing to spend a thousand dollars because i knew if i got one deal even if it was a thousand dollars which is pretty low in the wholesaling industry that i would at least make my money back but i was shooting for like five thousand ten thousand and my first deal i got eleven thousand dollar actually ended up contracting two eleven thousand dollar deals in my second month so I'm telling you, $22,000, it was amazing. And there's a video that talks about that, um, $22,000, um, how I made $22,000 in the middle of COVID. And that was actually what happened, it was amazing. So um, set a budget for yourself if you have that money. But if you don't have money, then time is your best friend. Get in the car, drive around neighborhoods, driving for dollars. It is one of the best ways to find deals because these properties aren't always on the list that everyone else is pulling, right? These are very specific, special properties because sometimes they don't fall on the list of different criteria that people pull. Like, the, there's just certain things about the property. It's still distressed. It still has, you know, uh, grass is tall. It still has uh, motivation for the seller to want to sell the property. Um, but it's a property that you're right in front of. You're able to take a photo of it, and you're right there. You can even skip trace through Deal Machine, the app. Well, if you don't have money to get the app, you can write down the address and go back and skip trace it. So, guys, there's a lot of ways for you to be able to you know find these deals and it's really really important for you to just talk to more sellers to be able to do that so hopefully those three things will help you when it comes to getting your first deal and uh, hopefully this will still you steer you in the right direction because it's a lot more simple than you think don't worry about all the different steps you know Martin Luther King says you don't need to see the top of the staircase to get to the top all you need to do is see that first step so don't worry about all the different things it'll come as you start building the business the most important thing number one is for you to take the first step which is join a Facebook group get familiar with how wholesalers are posting deals get familiar with other investors in the group um, number two get a contract just so you're ready prepared you have a contract ready when you're talking to sellers and number three just talk to sellers talk to more sellers the more people you talk to the more likely you're gonna get in front of, in front of somebody who's wanting to actually sell their property and then you have that contract right and then you know how to post the deal because you saw it on the Facebook group and then you're in the Facebook group so you can very easily post it in the potentially have a buyer and be done like that, right? Or even a wholesaler who can help JV the deal with you. So guys, it's really that simple. And then all the other things, you know, will really come into play. So hopefully that, guys, hopefully that helped you and uh, steer you in the right direction. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.